Hello everyone and welcome to Silky Intuitive Tarot. My name is Nancy. What I've got for you right now is reading for the week of, let's see, July the 22nd through the 29th, a day in front, a day behind, uh, pretty much in that time frame. For uh, the sign of Pisces, let's do Pisces now. So, Pisces friends, I've already meditated on your sign, and we're just about ready here. I need six cards down, but what I want to do is have a little chat with you first. Um, I've got summer sales going on right now at my website, reduced prices with added time to each reading. If you're looking for a reading right now, this is the time to take advantage of that and I can get you all lined up on my production schedule. Private readings are on video. It's a wonderful way to do it. That way, I only have my voice and my guide's voice. Now, that's a bonus, guys. That is a bonus for a reader. Too many voices can confuse the reading. And um, it's on video. That way, it's always yours to keep, uh, or for as long as you want to keep it. Also, at the end of this reading, I'm going to go over to my Vimeo channel, and I'm going to do a reading focusing on love for my Pisces friends. So reach out to me if you want to take advantage of a private reading. Focus energy. Your friend and neighbor, the Aquarius sign. And uh, what our Aquarius energy might be reflective of this week is uh, the fulfillment of a wish, maybe a desire coming your way, something positive happening in your life. It can talk about improving health because it is a healing card. It's a healing energy. Ah, yes. It may very well be possible that that's what we're talking about. It's some kind of healing, but it's a healing of a more uh, divine type. Let's see. Because it talks about inner strength. Or the Leo card, the strength card. Six of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. The Page of Wands, the Judgment card, and the Queen of Wands. Well, number one, at the very heart, we have this choice, this decision, whatever it is. Here, in the center of all of this, I'm going to use these in a minute, what you've got here is this resurrection. Usually it talks about the resurrection of the spirit, but it can also talk about more mundane type things, as in the rebirth of a relationship. Well, we can maybe connect that to the Six of Cups, which is the, not only the karma card of love, but it talks about memories, and reconnections from the past. And that may be where you're at right now. Um, the Empress, the Ten of Wands, and the Lovers. <clears throat> wow, we, wow, wow, wow. Some of you were talking about a same sex relationship. I do have these two queens, one on top of the other. Neither one of these are a water sign queen, but we know we also have the mother here, the mother energy, the nurturer. In the other corner, look at this, how we've got this strength, empress, and then we have these lovers here, the choice. Now, we know that in the most basic fundamental sense. 
The Lovers talks about making a choice, but it's the heart over the head choice. It's emotional over being well thought out. It's the leap to go with your heart. It's connected to the Ten of Wands. Again, <clears throat> we've got this energy where you're needing to push through in order to make a decision here connected to something from the past. We're going to put this one together sort of like a puzzle because it feels to me I'm not sure if we're talking about nurturing motherly energies the inner strength that comes from a more nurturing sense of self? Are you going through a period, Pisces, of self-care? Is that what you're doing here? Are you caring for yourself? Are you announcing maybe to the world, world, it's not about you anymore. It's about me. Your past may have been difficult. You may have had to push through many, many, many ordeals, many situations. And maybe some of those situations were deeply tied to deep emotion. And maybe you had to make decisions connected to your own life, but made through emotion. And maybe you had no other choice. But to make the choices connected to this. Now, this can talk about Gemini. This can talk about Leo. Okay, we've got, we've got a fire sign queen here. We've got an earth sign queen here. Now, like I said, I think in some cases we're talking about friends, sisters, mother daughter but there's a emotional choice that needs to be made here is there a rebirth of a mother daughter connection I'm getting all kinds of stuff that's swirling around my head are you having are you experiencing a very emotional choice has someone reached out to you who you haven't heard from in ages a child a daughter even a son because our empress can represent mother to all our page here can represent a male child or a female child <clears throat> I have to wonder if there was a break in this bond mother daughter sisters uh, aunts, cousins, relations, but tight, tight blood relations, I'm thinking. Um, um, again, sisters, sisters. For some of you, a sister came between you and a lover. That's why this is here. This could have been a break caused by a mother did a mother force you out of a relationship with someone you were deeply deeply in love with were you manipulated to let go of a situation did you have a child with someone that your family did not approve of um, acceptance to a point but now there's, I don't know why, but there's a rethought around their acceptance of a partner. Maybe the partner has taken a lover. Um, there's all kinds of, of messages coming through here. Um, oh, man. Okay, maybe I should just go back and start this puzzle from the beginning. I have a lot coming to me here. I've never had, I don't know if I recall a reading where the messages were so scattered and different. I've got someone waiting to give birth to a child. 
It's a child being born to a same-sex couple. The, achieving a child for this couple has been difficult, difficult at best. But they made the heart overhead choice. And regardless of what people around them were telling them, they decided to go with the dream of having a child. For a same-sex couple, this is waiting for the child to be born, either through one of these two bodies or through someone else. This is push through the difficulty, push past the naysayers, the people who are still living in narrow minds who cannot accept that this couple should have a child. Uh, what else am I getting here? Um, this connection here. The mother, the earth mother. Someone born of an earth sign is going through a transformation. Might be a transformation of the body. I think someone's mother is bodybuilding. What a crazy message that is. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we're not going all goofy. We're going to get in touch with something here that is and I and maybe that's what this is maybe that's what this is um I haven't shuffled yet but I just want you to notice that the marriage card is here so this could be a same sex couple coming together in union and in spirit waiting for the children. You may already have children. Some of you are waiting for one more. And this is somehow a milkshake of your bodies and your fluids and everyone just to join the two together. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's a, uh, <laughs> I've, I, I've never had a, a, a reading do this to me before, honestly. I'm going to mark the calendar. I've had about 15, 20 messages come through on this, and I can't put my finger on a single one. For those of you here lying in the center, your relation, your situation here is there's a reconnection to the past coming to a mother from her child. The child has overcome some difficulties. It may have been maybe as long as 10, even up to 20 years, that this mother and child could have been separated. This child's gone, gone through some rebirth or some transformation, and they've endured some shit in their life while they've been apart from you. And I think they're considering. I don't know if it's out there yet. But I think they're laying the groundwork to reconnect with a mother where there's been a falling out. Um, I want to say that... I would like to say that the mother is going to probably welcome the situation with open arms, but I have to question it. Someone in this situation has experienced really extremely hard feelings in the situation. And I don't know if they're ready to consider a reconnection here. For someone, the wounds are too deep to go back and reconnect at this time. Even blood isn't that thick. Sometimes the pain, the pain of an ugly situation 
can turn your back on even family members for a very long period of time. Doing what I do, I have seen some long, long periods of departure in a family. Someone leaves town and they never call again. A son goes into the military and never contacts his family again. It's the lost relative. And they do it and they're conscious of it. And for them, there's a reason why they cannot and don't want to reconnect. I think there needs to be some respectful energy around that desire to keep distant. Judication, the coffin, and the family room, great fortune. Holy smoke! This connection to the past, it's connected for some of you. What this is, what this is, the judgment, it's connected to judication. It's the decision to bring back a family connection that is dead, gone, over with. Someone's put this family situation to bed. It's in its resting place. It could be brothers and sisters who have not seen one another or eye to eye in decades. It could be the son who leaves home and for all the family knows, he's dead. She's dead. They disappear, never to be heard from again. But with this judication, I cannot place this with anything other than maybe they're going through a actual judgment of some kind through the court system and they're coming to you for help. Maybe they're in jail and they're reaching out to their family for help. I think for some of you, the family actually has no idea as to whether or not this person lied. This can tell me this person sees a opportunity to reach in and help themselves to money, maybe family money. And so there is a risky decision here to follow through maybe on a deception or the acquiring of family money that may actually not really be there or you may be una uh, unable to touch. Someone maybe trying to reach in and take their part of a deceased person's pie and trying to take you to court may be connected to this. It's just one more scenario that I can grab out of this crazy reading. I've never really seen one like this before. Got me a little puzzled, but it's only a week. I'm hoping that clearer messages come through. I didn't count them. Go back and somebody count them for me because I don't watch these uh, at the end. I'm going to take a yeah, I'm this is actually the Queen of Hearts was at the bottom. I was going to show you it just represents you in any one of these scenarios. That was crazy, guys. I'm going to go over and do a love reading and I hope I can latch on to something concrete because this was 
a lot of scenario, a lot of different occurrences happening. It's going to be mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. There's even more coming to me, but I only, I, I only have 20 minutes. So let me grab. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this one. This is from the James Von Prague Soul's Journey deck. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So if you have, if you're going through a point of indecision, maybe especially if it's connected with this person who's trying to reconnect, let your intuition guide you as to whether or not you want to reconnect with that energy again. Because I feel for some of you, that's a really big question at play for you. So, um, you may just want to stand back and let it play out without really actually touching the situation and just push through it push through it. Maybe there will be a change in whatever your story was here. Um, sisters broken up by one lover. Possibly a child involved. And insurmountable inner strength during the time of a breakup as if this, this is Two sisters and one of their husbands stepped outside to have an affair with one of the sisters. This, that relationship doesn't feel like it can heal. I'm still getting more downloads on this. Okay, I'm going to put an end to the downloads. If you want a reading meant just for you, I'll be able to focus on your situation a little bit better than this cyclone of cyclone of spirit. It was kind of crazy for me. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to work on a private reading or a public reading, geez, for your love life. Isolated, focused on love, I swear. And until next week, guys, reach me if you need to. Take care, be well, and peace.